What's up, man? 25 gamers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, over the last couple days, I've been trying to get some videos out, but unfortunately, the audio has been really messing up and freezing up my computer. Um, so today's video is going to be pretty simple. I'm going to try to make sure that it gets recorded. Um, but anyway, today I wanted to show you uh, a nice play that we use to beat the cover uh, two, and that is the quick slot out out of the Arizona spread formation. And so we're going to use cover two, uh, cover two sink, and cover two buck to showcase the concept. Um, that way you can kind of see it all against every type of cover two. So what we like to do with this, as you could probably imagine, is we're basically going to create a nice smash concept uh, to, con co to coincide with everything else we do from shotgun spread. And so we do that by putting the far right receiver on a smoke screen. Uh, we put the running back on a streak. We put the two guys on the left side. Um, I say to put them on levels just because that helps with cover two. But if you're a guy that likes to be able to be cover two on one side and cover three on the other, then you can make a curl flat concept by putting the slot receiver on a zig and the far left receiver on a smart out. But I really like to put a smart routed in route by the slot and then an in route to the back side uh, far left receiver. All right, so this is our play. The key route in this is the corner route, of course. And against cover two, typically, uh, if they put a purple up there, as you saw there, this cover two particularly has a purple zone uh, instead of three yellow zones. And so, therefore, our corner route won't be open. However, the middle of the field is now more open, and we can hit the back out of the backfield. Another thing we can do with this is if they say they make another yellow zone. So say, they, say they're in more of a traditional cover two where this guy is in a yellow zone and now see, see the traditional cover two and what I'm saying here and then maybe it's like a four down rush or something with a pressure so if they decide to do something like this this is where the corner route comes back into play and we can say okay we see that there's no purple zone so we're gonna pass lead to the outside of that corner route and that's where the corner route is key because of how well it beats uh, that cover two flat zone but if they put a purple zone, as I stated earlier, if they put a purple zone out there, then you don't throw that. You're going to work the middle, and so you can you can come back and work your levels, or you could also slip it to the back. So there's two alternatives if you don't get the read you like. Another thing that we'll want to go over is what if they're in like a cover two sink, because against a cover two sink, typically, the, it does it's a little tighter throw to the corner route. Well, if they are in a cover two sink, you see right there, we can still fit the corner route in, but some people... Uh, who use like the 49ers or the Seattle Seahawks, they may use a little cushion coverage technique. And so they'll YY cushion coverage. And as you can see here, if they do that, now that route is a lot more contested as the guy drops back in that vicinity. And so that's where you just need to use some common sense and say, okay, well, if they're in the YY cushion coverage technique, that's probably going to mean that the flat is now open and see how he drops back we can easily deliver it to Calvin Johnson and work the underneath or we could also go back side uh, so if they're using again if they're using a cover two sink and then using the cushion coverage technique to take away the corner route we can work back side to the little in route because that's another underneath route that we can work and as you see we can work two again two alternatives uh, if we don't get a read that we really want but the main read we really want is to be able to hit the corner route all right, what about man coverage? Well, against two man under, the corner route is, again, going to do a very good job, especially if we can make sure that they have to play uh, a regular two man under and they can't shade players because we're using different route combinations like working the levels from right to left. Um, so you don't always wanna, want to run him on a corner route. You want to run him on an in route, a drag route, a slant route, different routes. And so that's how you can guarantee that this will work against man. If they man align and they shade him outside, as you'll see right here, then that corner route that was just beating man is now going to be covered, as you saw right there. That is when they make an adjustment and do that. If they do that, then typically what will occur is they will have shaded everyone outside in order to use her the middle of the field. And so in this instance, we can now work our levels concept because that's attacking the middle. 
you see how we're attacking the outside on the right side and the middle on the left. And then in our other plays, we can obviously flip this and, and do the same kind of idea other sides. So if it's not open, then typically your in routes will be open against man-to-man -man coverage. And that's kind of the same theory for everything. Um, the main thing you have to watch out for uh, is, is a confusion in read and then making the wrong read. All right, so that's the video.